Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm Welcome into Sweet Scoop pregame presented by Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Walla Walla and the farmers of the Walla Walla Sweet Onion. I'm here with the outfielder Jake Suttleson, a rising sophomore out of Harvard University who's been out for the last couple of weeks with what they call concussion-like symptoms. Jake, you sustained your head injury and bend in the first game against the Elks. What happened? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was just sort of ground ball to second base. Um, guy made a good play, but a bad throw. Um, unfortunately, took the first baseman to the line. Um, at the wrong time, kind of just tripped over him, hit my yeah. head pretty hard on the ground. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of no good options when the throw takes the first baseman right into the baseline like that. Yeah, especially when it's that late. There was just like, I was either going to step on him yeah. and potentially injure him or try to avoid him, so I tried to avoid him. Ended up injuring myself. So Very noble to take the bullet instead of uh, Cal Waterman there. So uh, you've been shut down for about the last two weeks or so. I think it's actually been 13 days since you last appeared in a game because it was on a Monday, and here we are on a Sunday afternoon. What's been the protocol for resting, rehabbing, and getting your head right to get back on the field as soon as possible? Well, initially it was just rest. I mean, right afterwards you have headaches all day and nausea. So just like staying in dark rooms, not exposing yourself to too much light or noise is really important. I'm just not too much activity in general. Those days were pretty light, just laying in bed. Um, but once you get three days with no symptoms, you're allowed to start doing some light physical stuff, mm -hmm. physical tests. Um, so the first one was biking, mm -hmm. second one was running, and the third one was just going through like a practice sure. type environment. Um, and as long as you have no symptoms through those, uh, you're pretty much good to go. So went through all that, 10 days, no symptoms now. So. Um, I'm ready to go. Yeah, that's great. So it didn't flare up at any time during the recovery? No, not at all. Not at all. That's really good to hear. Have you taken full batting practice? Have you shagged balls in the outfield? Are you worried about being rusty today? Um, I've, ta I've taken fly balls, and I've taken full BP, but obviously not having seen pitching for a week and a half. Yeah. There's probably going to be a little bit of rust, sure. but I'm just excited to get back in there. Yeah, and an opportunity in a non-league game, the stakes aren't quite as high. You're in the lineup, <laughs> went right into the cleanup spot in this team that really has struggled to be hitting. And what's your approach going to be at the plate tonight as you try and get your legs back under you, so to speak? Oh, um, it doesn't change. I mean, the approach is the same every time. Um, if you're looking for a pitch or a location, um, you know, just – trying to put good swings on the ball. Sure. So um, I think just staying relaxed is going to be key tonight. Yeah. Not getting too anxious, being my first game back will sure. be really important. So as you mentioned, coming back, you're going into the middle of a lineup for a team that's really struggled swinging the bats recently, have won four out of five games on this homestand thus far, but a lot of them have been really close, really low scoring yesterday. Just team just got crushed 14 to three by Port Angeles. What's going wrong? A team full of very accomplished hitters in college, guys who have talent. So what's going on? I mean, you know, there's always slumps that people fall into, and I think we're just going through one of those right now. I don't, I'm not too concerned about it. I've seen our batting practice. Our guys can hit. So um, just like one of those moments where nothing seems to go right. There are times where we hit balls really hard right at guys, sure. and there are times where we do have bad at-bats, and we need to be better about those, but I'm not concerned. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, so do I. So, But unfortunately, uh, we get you back in the lineup today. We lose John Glenn. Now he's on the shelf with a back injury. Uh, trying to field a ground ball yesterday, felt something pull. So still waiting to get that full lineup back and healthy. But, Jake, as we have three more games in this homestand before we hit the road to go to Victoria, really get into the middle of the season, uh, what do you think the ceiling for this team is? You've been here for three weeks now. You've been around the guys. You've seen everyone. And how far can this team go? I'm expecting you to say to the championship, yeah. and I'd agree with you. But in your mind, what's the strength of this team and what's going to carry us going forward? Uh, I think all the guys are really close. Yeah. Um, we all like each other a lot. Um, we all get along really well. Team chemistry is great. Yeah. And even though we haven't been playing that well, everyone, no one's pointing fingers or saying, you're doing this, you're yeah. doing this. I mean, I think that, um, you know, the sky's the limit for this team, obviously. We could go all the way if we want to. It's yeah. just going to be about executing and yeah. 
playing our game. And I know that's kind of cheesy to say, but no, but it's things are cliche, but they're cliche for a reason. And and I totally agree with you. I think there's a lot of truth there. So 5:05 p.m. first pitch tonight against the West Coast Guns. Jacob Wise, the lefty out of Richmond, will be on the mound a day off tomorrow. And then two against the Yakima Valley Pippins before we hit the road for a series with the Harbor Cats. Thank you to Jake for stepping by the Borleski Stadium press box. Looking forward to seeing you out there today, and hopefully we'll get a win. Thank you for having me out here.